We lost a legend earlier this year when Russell Hyatt, the man known lovingly as Floyd the Barber, passed away. But as our Kitty Beck reports, his son is doing everything that he can to see that Russell's memory lives on. You gotta be a faithful person. It's the final TV interview Russell Hyatt would ever do for last year's Celebrate Surrey County special. The man who inspired the lovable Floyd the Barber character on The Andy Griffith Show passed away almost six months ago at the age of 92. You walk in the door, you were a friend of Dad's. Now Hyatt's 71-year-old son Bill is picking up right where Dad left off. I thought, I can't walk away from this. And so I came back in on Monday, May the 9th, after his funeral on Friday before. and. We were flooded, and it's been that way ever since. Bill is not one of the two official barbers on staff, but if you want, he'll give you a Floyd haircut. A few snips off the side or back, and in a couple of minutes, you're all done. There's no place like Surrey County and Mount Airy and Mayberry, and it's made largely because of people like Bill and his father. Bill doesn't plan to change much. His dad's name is still on the business cards. The chair, mirrors, and register are all originals, nearly 90 years old. Another fixture at Floyd is the photos. Russ started taking pictures of customers and just tourists in 1980, so some of these pictures are almost 40 years old. Bill estimates there are about 20,000 pictures on display in the barber shop and another 40 to 50,000 tucked away in boxes. I never could understand why it was so important to Dad, but after being in here just a short while, you could see every time I talk to people, I can feel Dad's presence in here because, like I said, he spent almost 70 years of his life right here. If I can make a person's visit to Mayberry uh, pleasant, enjoyable, and memorable, then I've done my job. I've done what my dad did.